Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try up on the house top. Okay, key of G. So you got a G for two, C, G, D7, G, da, 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 da. C to a G, D7, back to G, C, 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 G, G, D7, back to G, and then G, and then C, G, C, G, D7, back to G. That's it. Keeps repeating over and over again. So I think it's three times, three sets of lyrics to it, but I don't know. I don't even know what the lyrics are. So, all right. So you need a G chord. Sixth string, third fret. Fifth string, second fret. I'm just going to do the first string, third fret. You can do the other G chord where you use all four fingers if you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, then we need a C chord. Uh, fifth string, third fret. Fourth string, second. Second string, first fret. And only one more chord. We need a D7 chord. Second string, first fret. Uh, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to mute the sixth string on that. Uh, you can let the fifth string ring if you want. It's not the root, it's the, it's the fifth of the chord, but it sounds fine. It's uh, Most of us are going to hit it by accident anyway. All right, so let's see what we need here. We need uh, our strum pattern. So the G, um, when we first start out, we're going to go down, down, up, up, down, up. That's going to be our strum pattern for a lot of the song. Uh, when we have chords that are sharing a measure, we're going to do a short pattern like down, down, up, and then down, down, up. Okay, so let's walk through it slowly. We got a G for two measures, so two patterns. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Now we get to a C chord short pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up on the C and then the G and then the D7's back to the long pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now you got, you go back to the G twice again. Then C short again, G short again, D7 short, G short. Okay, you're halfway there. And then we're on the whole, whole, whole part is a C. Long pattern, G for a long pattern, D7 for a long pattern, then G for a long pattern. Then G, da, 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 C, G, C, G for a pattern, and then D7, G. Okay, so you can see where the long patterns and the short pattern, and that one measure where you just hit the chords once. Okay, so let's go through the whole thing slow. We got a G chord for two. C for short. G short, and then D7 long. C, G, C. Uh, you could do C, G, C, down, up. So you could do either just a down or a down, down, up on that last C. And then you got G for a pattern. And then D7, G7 for the short patterns. Okay? So here it is. I'll hum the melody for you if I can. Uh, let's see. La, 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 da, 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 da. The whole song just keeps recycling, you know. You can do uh, you can do a punk rock version of it if you want, you know. <laughs> you could do that too. I think Jimmy Buffett did a version where he did something like that. It sounded pretty cool. Um, but that was just using power chords, just a G power chord, a C power chord, and a D power chord, substituting the G C D sevens. So you could put that in there if you want, crank up the electric, put some distortion on, and go to town. Thanks for watching. Play more guitar. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. All that jazz.